are you? Hayden. Okay, Hayden. Is your last name? Screw me. Hayden, screw me. We're back home from New York. We're all exhausted, but I took a shower in my own shower last night. If you guys have been watching, you know how exciting that is because for the very first time, we are able to use one of our bathrooms. We came home and our hall bath, the one that is like not in the master bathroom, is pretty much 100% done. Like everything, the toilet is in, the shower is in, we put the curtain rod up. It's not like, I don't know, it's like not in the, a perfect spot, but Look at this. You can tell it's already been being used, but I'm gonna do like an official before and after remodel like showing. I don't even, what am I saying? I'm gonna do a complete like tour once everything is 100% actually done because it's not like, they still have to do like some paint touch-ups and stuff, but it's usable. So I took a shower, you guys. I took a shower in my own house. Who knew that'd be such an accomplishment? So anyway, we gotta all finish getting ready. Ready? You have to use your hands. Why do we have to use our hands? Because the, you don't know what a spray is. Found it. Wait, I'm gonna use this. Yeah, I'm using Little it. kitten, you're spraying your hair. And then you you already your brushed your hair. Yeah, but this one looks better for me. I'm telling on you. But first, then you have to get it wet. Then I already got my hair wet. Yeah, but if you need to use that, then you have to restart. So no, I don't. Yes, you do. Then I'm not giving you the water. No. Look, look here. Imagine you did a major put it right here, and you didn't know it worked. Then you did it right here, and Mom said, "Don't change your pants, even though it's just wet on it, and people would think you peed." <laughs> Oh my gosh! Come on! Show me where's the spot. Oh! Okay. See a spot? Lunches, something black. Oh, and there's a fire! Run for your life! She looks like that scene from Frozen. I've been up for hours. I've been up for hours. We took the big kids to school, and Landon has a Mother's Day celebration at his school today. So I'm gonna go with him to school. I made a mother. You made a mother pot? Is that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> Changing the subject. Landon, did you fill this out about me? Yeah. Okay, let's see how well you know mommy. My mommy's name is, what's my name? Jessica Goopy. Yes. How old do you think I am? <laughs> he said I'm 20 years old. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Bobby, I'm 27. It's okay. It says my mommy's eyes are brown. Does mommy have brown eyes? I have green eyes. Huh? What color are my eyes? Green. No, they're blue. You have green eyes. When mommy works, she works on her computer. That's true. My mom's favorite outfit is, <laughs> he put the Mickey one. You're right, high five. You know me well, buddy. My mommy's hair is, is it brown? Does it look brown? 
Maybe to a brown. People call this red hair, but it's kind of more of like an orangey. What do you think my hair color is? I'm classified as a redhead, and people see this hair color, they say it's red hair, but like, what color is it actually? You know? It's like kind of a gold, honestly. Like a gold orange. I know, I have low battery. Let me know on my recent Instagram post. What color would you actually call this? Like, yeah, I'm a redhead, but what color would you actually consider this? I'm back home, my battery kept dying. A battery that was in my camera, obviously, and then I brought an extra battery, and the extra battery that I thought was charged was not charged, and so I kept trying to get cute shots at the thing, and it just didn't happen. I'm back home now, and we are unpacking. I am really bad at leaving things packed for a long time, like, until my next trip, basically. I think, if I'm being completely honest with you, I'm pretty sure we still have stuff packed from Hawaii in the twins' room. There's like a bag in there that just hasn't gotten touched. And it's like Hawaii stuff, so it's not stuff that we need like on a, on a daily basis, you know? It's like their shirts and stuff. Anyway, I am determined to get completely unpacked right away. I already have two bags down. We only brought, well, each person brought their own bag, including the kids. And then we had a couple like extra bags with shoes and stuff in it. And we're already almost completely there, so we're already ahead of the schedule but I do not want these suitcases hanging out in our living room for the next like 10 weeks also this is looking real nasty because the silly string that they surprised me with whenever I got home they all like sprayed me with silly string <laughs> Oh, I don't know whose idea that was. It was not a good idea. It was fun. But, you know, that stuff, uh, it stains. It stains paint. Luckily, it didn't get on the paint. It just got on the floor, and luckily, the floor was covered with this stuff. But now, we have to live with this until they're done with this, this project, which will be soon. I think they said, like, sometime next week, like, mid-next week, they're going to be completely done. We're just waiting on the shower doors for the master, and then some mirrors, and some, like, very, very, very last-minute things. <laughs> All right, it is that time. The kids came home from school and they have a talent show that is next Friday. So it's coming up here really, really quick. And we've got some pretty amazing, amazing talent amongst these group of boys. I know we talked about Lilia doing her number in the talent show. She's doing a number in the talent show with her friends. But these boys are also doing a talent show. And we've got twins on twins on twins. Kyson and Kaden, obviously are twin boys. Well, their best friend twin boys, Jonah and Malachi back here, are also dancing with them. And they are doing their dance that they're doing for the recital. And they're teaching them. Look at the talent here. We'll show you guys a little sneak peek once we're done practicing practicing of some of the cool parts of this no, dance. Okay, just look, just once. Remember when I, Woo, boy, look at that talent. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Work it. Hold on. Woohoo! Good job, Malachi. Whoa, talent. You guys are some talented boys. So we're gonna keep practicing here, but practicing with boys versus practicing with girls. Very different atmosphere. We already have, um, Goldfish all over the floor because they can't stop eating while they're practicing. They just never stop eating, period. So we're gonna wrap up the snacks, practice a little bit more, and get it looking perfect for the show. Day, can I just leave the house and be gone and not be a mother and go get a pedicure? It kind of defeats the purpose of Mother's Day and a massage and do nothing <laughs> with my life the whole day. Yes, we are headed out to open house. It's the big kids' open house today, so they've all got is the garage closed? So, we're gonna go see what they've been doing all year. It's where you go to their classrooms and you see like what they've been doing all year. Basically, they usually have a cute little art project or something that they show. So open house only lasts one hour long and we've got three classes. Holy Jesus, calm down. We've got three classrooms to go to. So we're gonna go right when it starts so that way we can get all three of them out of the way. And then next year we're gonna have four. This one's gonna be there next year too. We'll have four of them all at the same school. And it actually will work out to where I have five kids in elementary school because our school goes to sixth grade and Addie does TK. Well, there'll be a year where Addie is in TK and Lily's in sixth grade. I'll have all five at the same school. Isn't that insane? That is just crazy. So anyway, we're gonna see what they've done this year. I am special because I am kind and never 
Never Give Up by Kaisen. I am Katie Roke. I see Katie and Mowgli. I dream of having a Bugatti. My dream for myself is to help people. My dream for my world is to clean the world. I am by Lilia Esquilin. I am kind and caring. I want peace for the world. I am funny and nice. I worry if I will lose hope. I dream to be an artist. I hope I can be very good. I am creative and smart. We're noticing that as Landon gets older, he looks more and more like Caden, especially. Caden, Landon, come here really quick. Yeah, especially from the back. The back of their heads are, and their ears are the same. Yeah, height. when they're turned around, I cannot tell the difference except for the size. They look, their hair color is the exact same and their ears are the exact same. Their necks? Yeah, their ne everything. The way they're shaped, they're both my, my super uber skinny ones. Turn around with, with Landon really quick. I want to see both the back of your heads. Maybe they literally. <laughs> Minus the height, that's the only thing that's different. They're like, wow. they're shaped the same. Their heads, are, they must have the same face shape or something too. But their faces, I feel like, don't look super the, the same. The of their ears are so the same. I know, isn't that funny? Genetics are fun. Oh yeah, how do I look from the back? Wow, yeah, it looks so good. Is it? Yeah. They got the back of my ears. I don't, I don't know. Apparently the back of my ears look exactly the same too. A little later. All right, so we had white a bit of people when we posted our picture. No, when you, first it was when you posted the video, right, on Instagram? Oh yeah. Of Kathy Griffin. And there are opinions on opinions about this lady. I think most of it's probably politics, which I'm not super into. I have my opinions and that is it. And I just leave it at that. I had no idea. Did you know that she was such a controversial person? No. I, I did. Don't, I, didn't I don't, I don't follow really... celebrities at all. Same, I don't really care. The one thing that, had got a lot of attention was the way that she was talking to our kids uh, during the Shorty Awards. What did you think about it when you were there? I mean, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, I thought it was super funny too, so. I, I guess it's like when it's happening, it's a little different like sitting on your couch like in a chill mood. Right. And you're like, oh, well. I can't believe she was talking to them. I just have to say that the Shorty Awards all together, it was so much fun, uh, but it was not super, it was not very kid friendly, and we didn't expect it to be. It's one of the reasons we decided to bring our two oldest. So originally we were gonna bring all of them. I'm so glad we didn't bring all of them because it was just not a, it's not even FAQ Friday. I know. If you guys haven't seen the clip, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this. We're gonna watch it really quickly and then give our like overall thoughts about it. Kathy Griffin is kind of like out of our age, like she's not in our generation. Oh, she wasn't yeah. really in our generation, so like we don't know too much about her as a person. It was mostly fine um, until she went and singled out just our two kids in the entire place. So we're gonna watch this really quick, and then I want to get my opinion on how I felt about that whole situation. When she said, "No," there's a child here. That moment is when I knew that it was all over. Are you a minor? Wait, there's a child. Lilia. Oh boy, what's your real name? Can we just talk about how Lilia, Lilia responded, responded to her? Right, how old are you? Eight. All right, why are you here? Um, <laughs> that response was the best. I'm just so that was, glad. That was like a hair flick to the face. She like knew, she knew who she was and why she was there. Oh, and I have to say too, people were asking, does, does Lilia or Kaden know who she was? They had no idea. No. For all they know, she was just some random person off of the street. They had no yeah. idea. Like I knew she was, super famous, but I that's pretty much like, oh, it sounds so bad, like, so I didn't really know too much. I knew who she is, but I don't like super, I didn't like super follow her or anything like that. This is why I don't have a firearm, because I would roll my brains out right now. This chick probably can buy and sell me 10 times over. Do you have branding deals? <laughs> For the record, I think, I don't, she doesn't know what branding deals are, but if she said like, do you get sponsorship? She would have known that yeah, lingo. Yeah, definitely. She would have, but she was like, branding deals. Mommy and daddy. Okay, there okay, they are. Um, <laughs> cha-ching. All right, um, <laughs> someday you can grow up and be like a real star, like a little kid. That was just so funny. Ear muffs, ear muffs. <laughs> the crowd is all. I can't believe that they did not get her name taken off the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was delicious. Oh, yeah. oh and Becky. And as a beautiful 
maybe as much well, as want to go to college anyway, but maybe you know the games. Oh my god. So what do you want to be when you grow up? A singer. Really? What kind of songs do you like to sing? A good one. <laughs> I don't even know what those are, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I think Jojo those are like Siwa. Songs. Jojo Siwa. Yeah. Jojo Siwa. Do you like Jojo Siwa? <laughs> I bet she actually doesn't know who she is, though. I think she's yeah. being funny. Yeah. It's a singer. Okay, it's a real, is it an animated or like a real person? <laughs> real person. Alright, stop yelling at me. You're very fragile. Very fragile. Alright, can you sing one song for me? The thing is about Lilia is she never stops singing. Yeah. At home, she sings 24 seven. So I was so surprised she's never cared. So maybe she just finally hit the age where she does care. But she really I was thinking just, at least like a little bit. I can't bit. blame the girl, but I'm just surprised that she didn't. What's your favorite song by Jojo the Seal? <laughs> So at this time, Aiden had actually gotten up and went to the bathroom. So you'll see in a moment when he comes back in, that's where he came from. Is he was literally oh, gone. Oh. oh, here he goes. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> okay, Aiden. <laughs> I think that was the time. And okay, in terms of um, Big Caden, that kid. He is beyond his years. He is beyond his years. I don't know if this even sounds good. But he gets it, and he gets it in a way that like, he understands it. I feel like he is like 16 in his brain. They're at the age now where they don't go, <gasps> when there's a bad word said, like the twins, like if there's a bad word said around them, they're like, <gasps> like, oh my God. But they're at the age now where they just like got it and they just kind of like rolled with it. But they're not gonna go talking like that now. He's also very funny and he gets sarcasm a lot. Listen, excuse me. screw me. I don't appreciate your attitude. All right, do you know uh, Puffy and the Seawalls or whatever name is? Jojo Seawall. Did you ever hear Jojo Seawall? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess I'm the only asshole. <laughs> okay, now, do you like singing as well? No. Wow. But she stands alone. Do you know this character? Yeah. How do you know him? Yeah. Are you married? <laughs> We're brother and sister. In Kentucky? Okay. Well, you guy. She didn't, I know she didn't, they didn't get, I don't think either of them got that reference. Ever sing? Yes. Is she a good singer? Yeah. Wow, what a great endorsement. <laughs> and he totally got that. The whole audience wants her to sing, uh... Boomerang. Boomerang. Do you ever heard that song? Yes. <laughs> well, why is it like waiting? It has to do with this. Yes or no? This is like one of the settings. See, notice how they're both laughing? Like, neither of them were offended by the way that she was because she's a very I can tell she's a very sarcastic individual neither of the kids were like offended by the way that she was talking or anything they were laughing yeah. along with her some people in the comments were just like how dare you how could you let your kids be surrounded by that and it was just like really not a big deal I think we viewed it as parents as a very once-in-a-lifetime opportunity it was a little vulgar yes it wasn't completely kid appropriate but at the same time they're at an age where they're old enough to understand that this is a an experience that stays where it's at. So they're not gonna take what they're hearing and go talk like that now. They're not gonna take what they're hearing and it's not gonna change who they are as a person. It was just some cussing. Like so, some people were acting like it was so bad. For one, they didn't really understand the, like the Olivia Jade stuff. They didn't understand the yeah. Kentucky comment. So they didn't, so people might view that as if it was really like, wrong and I'm you know maybe it is for for some people but when you were in the situation the whole experience as a whole was something that they're never gonna experience again and I feel like mature yeah, maturity wise they'll never be insulted by celebrity ever again it wasn't a negative situation it was just a very adult situation and I think they're at an age where they were their minds were immature enough to not get the vulgarity of it, but mature enough to be able to handle like a little bit of cussing and stuff that went on. So we knew that and we made the decision to bring them anyway because we felt that the experience outweighed the little bit of cussing that they're gonna hear. Like it really just wasn't a big deal. There think were... about it though, you go out to a restaurant or you're like walking down the street, like people just talk like that. You can't keep your kids in a bubble. And I'm not you... saying like go around just like start cussing because everyone no. else is doing it, but this was a once in a lifetime opportunity for them to get to experience and for us we were so grateful that they were able to experience that and some parents might have not been okay with it but for us the pros of the situation outweighed the little bit of cussing so it really just wasn't yeah. a super big deal to us so for us in this situation we thought it was hilarious <laughs> 
Like we, I couldn't stop laughing. We genuinely thought it was funny. The kids thought it was funny and it really just wasn't a big deal to us at all. But anyway, we just wanted to share that clip with you guys and how we thought about it. I replied on Instagram a couple times. There were some people asking how we felt about that. So I figured we would just address it here uh, and talk about it. But we genuinely thought it was funny and we would 100% do it all over again. I don't think there was any lines crossed that made it completely just like that is unacceptable. She's a comedian, you know, that's that's yeah. what she does. So that's how we felt about it. Uh, but if you guys have anything else to say, make sure you go follow us on Instagram and um, you can comment on my last post. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. So that's everything for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow in our next video. Good night.